is an air of high tension in Caledon as a state of siege begins. And in a watchtower near the border, young King Dorian inspects the defenses. Are you certain, General, that all approaches to Caledon are fully protected? Aye, King Dorian. We are strong enough now to drive off any attack. I wonder what General Diomedes' next move will be. The answer lies in an offshore island, site of the Thracian encampment. Here, a baffled General Diomedes confers with a evil ally. I could crack Caledon like a nut, but King Dorian has blocked every route, by land and by sea. Aye, General, by land and by sea, but not by air. What? Are you mocking me, you stupid sorcerer? How can my warriors travel by air? I will show you, dear General. Behold. A boat rig with one of the magic sails of Skyrus. Step in, General. First, to unfurl the sail. And now, off we go. Behold, King Dorian. A warship that flies through the air. Against such power as this, Dorian, you haven't a chance. Surrender! I took the precaution of summoning some powerful help myself, Diomedes. Look below. Hercules! Fear not, General. We shall see how the mighty Hercules fares against a whole fleet of flying warships. Did you hear what he said, Herc? Did you hear what he said? Don't worry, Newton. I'll be ready for them. And before long, the vast Thracian army opens its fantastic skyborne invasion. Here they come, Hercules. than your arrows to bring down those boats. I think so too, King Dorian. And those catapult missiles will do fine. Hurry, Hercules. They will soon be over the mainland. General, after you sign an unconditional surrender. But what about me? I'll take care of you, Daedalus. Yeah. 